All right, the music's going off. This is insane. What the fuck? Oh yeah, just wail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game is insane. Now, before we get to everything you've just seen, we need to take a look at how we got here. Last time, we left Hugo in need of a hand, but we didn't get to finish the job, as some mysterious person turned up and spirited him away. We head back out to the front of the castle to meet up with Jill and Gav, who inform us that the people who crashed the party are none other than the Royalists from the Kingdom of Walud. We have no idea why they're so interested in keeping Hugo alive, but with no other leads and Jill in desperate need of rest, we head back to the hideaway. We leave Jill with Taya, who can hopefully help her recover, and Gav decides he's going to go and ask Tomes, our lawmaster, if he knows anything about what Torgul is exactly, especially given that flashy transformation from last time. While Gav is doing that, we're off to ask Otto if he has any leads on where Hugo is headed. Our conversation is interrupted, however, by a young woman charging over to us. There he is. Who this? All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. I do not know who you are. Mid. Mid. When did you get back? What a name. Just now. What about your studies? She's mid. Adjourned. <laughs> Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. Sorry, just, I gotta stop <laughs> laughing at that name. Because I'm like, imagine introducing her. Oh, who's she? Oh, she's mid. You are in... <laughs> Finding that well, utterly hilarious. He's gone mad. <laughs> She's He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. I wasn't asking about her personality or who she that. is. Like, all what's right, her name? All right, all right. <laughs> <Hugh Min. laughs> How long will he be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. So Mid is Sid's daughter, who has been away studying engineering. She has returned to the hideaway to help us out full time, and she needs us to help her in setting up a workshop. With Clive having nothing better to do while Otto and Vivian search for Hugo, we are conscripted into helping Mid. This involves getting some supplies from Karen, who will provide them free of charge as Mid is the reason the hideaway has clean water through her making filters for it. We then go to commission our resident blacksmith to make some tools for her, and then we need to go get a carpenter from Martha's Rest to help build the actual workshop. He agrees to come along with us, but wants to visit the graves of his family before he leaves, and naturally the area is swarming with monsters that we need to clear out. This shouldn't take long. There we go. Oh, I love that so much. Okay, let's just try and knock them all down with a little something something. Beautiful. There we go. Another one! Oh, whoa! Okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy. Okay. God damn it. Oh my god. I didn't patch up. I didn't pick up any more potions either. Okay, let's try something. I have nothing to get up this stagger meter quickly except uh, this, this, and then this. I mean, that did something. That was not the most effective use of my abilities. Use this one. Oh, I, I forget. Done. Okay, it's all good. <laughs> I gotta remember Titans once have a charge up. With everything finally in place for Mid's workshop, we head over to check on what Gav found out about Torgal, and the answers are pretty Clive, surprising. Where have you been? Hiding. I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Okay, where did we get him? Where is he where from? Where did you get him? Yep, like, there it is. In the first place. Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and... Seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf. Ah. An animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast. And he magic can, he cast Kiraga for us. His name was Fenrir, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva. That would make sense. A girl Frost. from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva. Ah, uh, Jill. 
You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? Yeah. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Ah, Just so when his interesting. Master needed him the most. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. Really? His latent what is birthright he? as a Frostwolf. It had only ah. to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. You're a special boy. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. The best. The best boy. We then cut over to a meeting between the Emperor of Sambrique, his council, Dion, and our favourite Annabella with her not creepy son naturally draped over her lap. They are discussing the possibility of peace with the Dalmachians who have been attacking them. Basically, Annabella claims that her son, Olivier, who looks to be about 10, managed to convince Hugo to convince the Dalmachians to broker for peace. We obviously know that this is utter nonsense and the agreement was worked out between Annabella and Hugo and Dion also seems to be doubtful. Also, look at this smoke. Look at it. I hate her smug face. Anyway, the Emperor agrees to broker a peace treaty and then is going to immediately attack the Dalmachians and annihilate them once they've met the Empire's demands. Dion immediately steps forward to voice his concerns. And what of your subjects, your radiance? Dion actually if seems like a good dude. If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Dion actually yeah, seems like he cares. For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. What the every hell? Home that burns, another can be built. This dude is... wow. The Empire will live on. Wow. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. Sire. Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. Oh dear God. If that is your wish, your radiance. I shall depart at once. May Gregor forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Of course they do. So Annabella's tales were true. I oh, yeah, likely she's used some sort of persuasion. You disappoint me, Dion. Shall we? To make the augurs provide a favorable sort of reading in your favor and against Dion. That kid creeps me out so much. Cutting back to the hideaway, Uncle Byron has popped in for a visit and provides us with the missing link to determine where Hugo is. It seems the men from Walud have transported him overland and back to Drakesfang, Hugo's personal residence and the location of another mother crystal. As we prepare to leave with Uncle Byron in tow, Otto tells us to seek out a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil, an old acquaintance of Sid's who might be able to help us. Arriving at the town called Dalamil, the road to Drakesfang is closed, so we decide to track down Rosina, hoping she can help us. When we do find Rosina, she is no woman, but a young man by the name of Lubal. I have questions. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? I like that, I'll take it. <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <sighs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Influence? Why, trust. trust. Everyone Close knows enough. that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> okay. And nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. Basically, Lubor will only help us once he's determined we're trustworthy, which naturally involves us completing a task for him. Come on. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. What trouble? Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? What trouble? Exactly. If you're going to give us orders, exactly. be clear about them. <laughs> exactly. I'm on Byron's side 100%. Manus, Greybeard. One catches more damsel flies with honey than with vinegar.
So with those incredibly straightforward instructions, we do some investigating, find out about a conspiracy between the Dalmachian soldiers and the Walud royalists to steal the crystals meant for the townspeople, selling them at a high markup to wealthy individuals instead, so naturally we go in to put an end to this crystal black market. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! Yeah, hey, I'm here. So it would seem. My lord, what is the meaning of this? You're done goofed. Double crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. No, we're Kill here to. Them. Kill them both. I mean, you can try. You're welcome to try. Have a tornado. <laughs> we're going to open up with this. There we go. That's beautiful. I love it. Beautiful. I can't see anything, but I just love that opens them up. They all just get tossed around. It's very satisfying. <laughs> there we go. Good night. There we go. Oh, wait, someone's casting cure. Who's that? You! No thanks. Good night. Goodbye. None of that now. There we go. Good night. And good night. Yeah, that's beautiful. Good night. And one of these. Show me your moves. Oh, I don't want to kill the chocobo. Oh, well, I've got no choice. Let's go. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. Let's just hit him with one of these. Take care of all of this. Beautiful. And let's run straight over. There we go. Nice and easy. Good night. There we go. Taken care of. Not too bad. We took care of it. True to his word, Lubor has already made arrangements for the guards to let us pass when we approach the gate leading to Drakesfang. He also wants us to tell our people that he'll provide whatever assistance he can going forward and even provides useful advice for getting into Drakesfang. Isn't there always? <laughs> if you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mine. Okay, he actually cares about lightest. us. All right. All right, Lubor. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. <laughs> I don't plan on dying. Not before Kupka does anyway. Well, <laughs> so long as you have a plan. Yeah, jump in, hit it with the sword, run away. That's, that's, that's all the steps. As we approach our destination, we part ways with Uncle Byron, but before he goes, he floats the idea that Clive oh, could please. always take Rosaria back. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. Oh, Uncle but that Byron. ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. Exactly. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I exactly was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. He wants to do more. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was yeah. kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. He's just going to take the spark and turn it into a raging by fire. Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy. I am certain my cause is just. Yep. You really are just like him, you know? <laughs> uh, see, scenes like this, I love it. So much. Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. Till then, my boy. You better be okay, Uncle Byron. Till then. Go safely, Uncle. And you, nephew. Oh, I love this so much! We have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regale me with the tales of all Oh no, he's gonna die. Next we meet. Death flag. <laughs> That's a death flag. Uh uh. You can regale me too, Torgo. Talking about his regrets. 
talking about when next we meet. Death flag. Death flag. We then cut over to Hugo and the man who rescued him. Hugo is not having a great time with his lack of hands and the lack of access to Titan's power. The man tempts Hugo with the prospect of drawing ether directly from the heart of the Mother Crystal. Similar to how Benedicta absorbed too much ether and became a souped up version of Garuda, Hugo decides he's going to do it, but as he leaves, we're left with more questions as to what power this strange man really has. Lathos is here. How do you know? Very well, it shall be so. What is going on? Who are you? How do you know? You may leave everything to me, your majesty. Oh my god, what the fuck? What is that? All right, we're speed running the next section to get to what we've all been waiting for. We enter the mines and find them overrun with orcs that have killed everyone. The orcs were seemingly brought by the royalist, which would indicate that they're now part of the Walud army, which leaves us wondering how that's even possible. We fight through the mines, fight a whole bunch of those strange enemies that the Walud man summoned until finally we catch up with Hugo at the Mother Crystal's heart. Uh-oh. Nuh-uh. Stop him now. I, Cut him down immediately. I you so much. Oh my god. I swear to you. Why is she here? Is it just a hallucination? We will never be parted again. What's wrong with him? Uh he's gone a bit loopy. Oh, hey, there's a free. You ran away from her. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what in the fever dream is going on? Oh, uh, yep. He's going mental. Yeah, you should have done that earlier, dude. You can do it. Oh, come on. This is it. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn, that looks so good. Uh-oh, Ultima's looking on. Okay, so now we're free. We're ready for Titan. Yeah, shit. Here we go. All right, we're in for a big battle. Okay. All right. All right, yeah. Holy damn. And we get this speed. Oh, I'm hyped. Let's go. All right. Our first proper icon on icon fight. Because we did it with Garuda, but we were, we had like the sluggish, not in, not in control of himself, Clive, you know? So this time, we have got... This time, we have got full control. As far as I'm concerned, this is our first proper fight against another icon. I'm so ready. Let's go. All right, so we gotta. We need bigger. We need. We need some abilities. All right, Titan is huge. We're like a. We're like a rat. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, I still need to learn the combos. Out that, that tag me. Ow. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I still need to learn the combos. Oh god. Okay, if I'm in mid combo, I can't stop. Okay. Okay, there we go. We can just keep attacking his ankles and his butt. <laughs> okay, let's use this to get out of the way. There we go. Okay, he's very maneuverable. He's not big and slow, just like Hugo wasn't. I'm so little! I'm like the size of his foot! Look at this! I'm trying to show you. I'm like just up to his ankle. Like a little bit. That's basically where I'm at. There we go. We got him staggered. I mean, I don't really know what I can do against him, but we just go in and get some free damage, I guess. I have no idea how to maximize this. Like, that's a lot of damage, but still not much against him. Okay, now what? Cinematic? Uh-oh. Oh, that was creepy. I don't like it. Um, what? Oh! What now? Shielding. Can we do something? Now what? But if you can do it, so could I. What are we doing? Are we? Are we? 
You've learned Brimstone? <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing we've now got abilities on our R2. Oh, God. The sheer strength is insane. What the hell? Stone stone. Cool. All right. Oh, yeah. That's a stone. That's just a stone. Well. Let's okay. give this a try. There we go. Okay, so it's like Titan's thing. There we go. Sucked on that. I don't know what that did for damage, but it seemed good. There we go. Do as much damage as we can. Oh, the extra damage. That ability has g given me so much more. Oh, I got tagged by that. That's all right. Okay, wait. Oh, up that one hit was all it needed. We're taking him out. Move. There we go. We're too quick. Oh, God. I dodged. That's meant to be. I'm good. Okay, mash, 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 mash. Titan's reaction time not is, is pretty damn good. Oh, wow. We, we tossed him? I'm surprised. I'm happy, but I'm surprised. Is he going to eat the crystal? Uh, yep, he's eating the crystal. Did we just get... Did he just supercharge? Oh, great. Oh, great. What? Did I just get... I just got sent to the moon. All right, the music's going off. Oh, yeah. My man awakened or some shit. What am I meant to do? Yep. <laughs> We were already tiny compared to him. Oh my god. This is insane. What the fuck? Okay, still got it. Still got it. Still got it. Okay, we got to keep going. Titan lost. What a name. Oh, great. What is this? What in the tentacle is going on? I can tell you right now, I am bopping. I am so small. When we first awakened as a free, I remember being like, wow, we're huge now. Now, compared to this, I'm an ant. Whoa. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay, I gotta try and do something here. I don't know what I'm meant to do. Yep, okay, cool. He's broken off my pathway. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. Oh, my God. This is chaos. All right, let's firelight. Okay. But hey, you know, congrats to us. For the first time, we have primed as a freight on purpose. Okay, cool. That was something. I don't even think it, he felt that. I think it tickled. Gave him just basically a little massage. God damn. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. We are getting wiped. Ow. Okay, we charged into that one. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Try and just melt it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're redirecting right at him. Oh, we did damage. Finally. It was not a lot of damage. I just sent that whole goddamn t tentacle with his strength back at him. And it did less damage than me getting hit by some rocks. God. Yep. Okay, cool. Ow! Okay, we gotta just try and get in here. I don't know. Try and do something. God damn it. I wasted it. Okay, get out of the way of that. While it's in close, try and do some damage. I'm doing nothing. What am I meant to do? I'm like lightly tickling him. Oh, God. I can't dodge through it. Gotta go over it. Oh, cool. That looks new. Oh my god. Okay, we got out of the way. It's all good. It's all good. Can we do something? Okay. Oh, he broke the field. Okay, cool. Oh, why'd I do this? Can I just keep charging? I'm impervious, right? There we go. I'm just gonna keep holding this, I guess. There we go. That was something. There we go. That worked out for me. I didn't waste it. 
Okay, so that's cool. So you can fully charge it and just stay there with it. Okay, we staggered him. Now what? What that mean? Can I climb him? Oh, that was it. That's all I got. I got one good hit on him. I'm mad. What am I meant to do? Okay, cinematic. Come on, give me something else. Give me like a free awaken. Because this man got an awakening. Give me one. Oh, music switched up. Bop. It's time to bop. Hell yeah! Woohoo! There we go. Ow, that still hurt me. Cool. Okay, so wait for it to come to a complete stop. Please do not stand up to get your luggage until the plane has come to a complete stop and the pilot has turned on the fasten seat off the fasten seat belt sign. I wouldn't be a good I wouldn't be a good announcer over a plane, would I? <laughs> I stopped it up. Hell yeah. This the music has gone off and I'm here for it. There we go. Get as much damage in as we can. Granite rush. Uh oh. What? Oh, great. It's all falling down from the sky. There we go. Hit him. Oh, yeah. Oh, the choir's in now. Oh, yeah. Can I do damage to him while he's not attacking? I can. Why have I just been standing here like an idiot? Okay, just wait for the... I'm going to wait for my brimstone to load back up. There we go. Because I only get one hit. There we go. Beautiful. That's what we got to do. Uh-oh. He's doing another thing. Okay. Give me a second. Bye-bye. I'm running away. <laughs> These battles are insane. I'm a little speedy boy. That's all I got for me. Whoa! 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 There we go. Block it. Oh my god, it's coming in so quick! Okay, just try and get as much damage as we can. Whoa! Coming back. I messed that up so bad. Staggered. Beautiful. Come on down. Do I have enough time for it to load back up? I don't know. Let's find out. Ding. Let's do some dance moves. Ding. 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 Yeah, we'll make it. Ding. Style on him. Style on him. All right, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I got more? What? He didn't just... Da oh! The one time he does not immediately run away as soon as I do any lick of damage and I waste it because I'm an idiot. Okay, he's not taking any damage anymore. It's just stagger meter. What now? Okay, just keep going. What? Now you... Oh, okay. I'm guessing we had to get him down to a certain amount of health, which is where we are now. Okay, he's coming in again. Oh! Are we just tanking it? Oh, mash, 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 mash. It's all good. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Alright, now what? Am I doing something else? Okay, that was a nice hit. Oh! Weakness! gonna take your whole arm. I just took your hand last time. I'm taking your arm. Hell yeah. The aggression. You love to see it. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Hellfire. Oh no, that's just a mad charge shot. Yep, took your arm. Woo! Why can I fly now? Why can't I always fly? Okay, we're going to the stratosphere. Okay, yep. Trying. Okay, we got something. Here we go. What am I doing? Oh, I got to aim? Ow. Okay, alright. I didn't misunderstood what I was trying to do here. I can't move at all, so I got to try and just knock these things out before they hit me, which is near impossible. Oh, oh, oh God. When did this become... I don't even know what type of game genre this is. I've forgotten. Oh god, and now there's one of these. Great. Okay, cool. So I gotta try and attack this. 
Stop these hitting me. Oh my god, what do I do? There we go. There we go. Taken care of. Alright. Woo! Woo! Oh! I'm ready. Don't you dare do it. I don't just fire these. Fire them for good measure. Here we go. Greetings! You're fucked! Alright, let's go. Flex their muscles, let's go. Hellfire. Nope. Flying flame kick from hell. Holy shit. Hell yeah, it is. Oh, this whole thing. This whole thing. Oh my god, it's the sickest shit. Two million damage, nearly three. Oh my god. I mean, while we're here, we might as well take out the Mother Crystal. Whoa! What? How is he still alive? Ow. Come on, attack me. Come on. There we go. This fight is insane! What is going on? How are we just fall? Are we falling? Is that what's going on? I've got no more heals. Alright, that's fine. Okay, I gotta try and be a little bit more smart because I can't just keep wailing on the attack. I gotta try and look at my counters because he gets. If I'm in an animation, I'm screwed. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we're doing it. We can wail on him a little bit there. It's not just mindless button mashing because if I do that, I get messed up. I'm so impressed with the combat, even in scenes like this, like that. See, I kept pressing too many buttons in that one. I should have known better. There we go. Dodge. Counter in. Again, wait for him to do something else. Well, there we, here we go. Hit him with that. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, just hit him with this. I don't I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing. We're just gonna keep going. Oh, this is so cool. We did so much damage, even though I did I feel like I didn't do very well. <laughs> okay, now what? Just keep hitting. Uh oh, whoa, he came back in quick on that. Okay, go, 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 go. Just let it go. Let it fly, there we go. That wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but nearly half a mil, nearly half a mil. There we go. Okay, we can still use the maneuverability over here. There we go. Oh. Yeah, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Woo! All right, he's got to be done. This music is insane. They went so hard. Oh, he god damn. Oh, I thought I had to mash. It's okay, I just had to press it once. I'm guessing we're going to need to mash, though. He is just pushing us back with his neck muscles. My man does not skip neck day. Holy damn. Yep, fuck indeed. <laughs> What is that? Are we going to use it to supercharge? So can I. Oh yeah, we're just pulling it in. We're absorbing it. Oh god. What's happening? We get an upgrade? How many stages is this fight? What the fuck? Is this a whole new stage or are we like... Is this it? This might be it. Oh god, we have got some clubby. We got some beefy fists. Oh yeah, it's still going. Oh yeah, just wail. <laughs> oh, this game is insane. Oh, what happened? That doesn't feel good for us. Here, here we go. We're swinging around with the other one. Okay, we're gonna move. Oh, 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 mash, 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 against his head. Come on, your neck muscles are not that strong. I know they're not. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Whoa. I am, I am blown away. Holy shit. That was insane. Whew. Gotta breathe. Oh, I got worked up on that.
that was insane. It, from the multiple phases, such a worthy fight for Hugo because he's been such, he's done so much to us. Oh, whoa. All right, he's got to be done, yeah? Might as well since we're here, right? Since we're here. There we go. That's three down. Oh. What an insane. Goddamn. Just journey. With Hugo defeated and another mother crystal fading away, so too does this episode come to an end. If you made it through this whole episode and you're hearing this, I appreciate you. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, but that's all for today, so bye for now. Thank you.